New tonight, parents from a San Diego Youth Football League are demanding answers after they say one of the coaches took money for an out-of-state game and pocketed it. In total, they say thousands of dollars are still unaccounted for. Our Kasha Gorchik joins us live from La Mesa with a story you'll only see on Fox 5. Kasha. Good evening, Kathleen, and we were contacted by several parents about this issue, which they say has gone unresolved for months. But because the season is still ongoing, many of them wished to remain anonymous. But tonight we spoke with two moms laying out all of their frustrations about this missing money and what they say is a lack of accountability. I wanted my son to get an opportunity not only to play football, but to have good mentors in his life, male mentors. And I'm really sad that that's not what he got. San Diego moms Jessica Johnson and Sophia Age are speaking out after they say a local assistant football coach took thousands of dollars from the team. 15 families, which is almost half of the half of the team, and I believe altogether he collected about almost $12,000. I mean, still owed is like 9,500. They tell Fox 5 the money was collected by the San Diego Bolts 11U assistant coach back in July for an out of state game and team trip to Hawaii, claiming he would book accommodations. We could get airfare tickets as well as discounts on hotels. But just days before that trip in August, the women say the assistant coach backed out and urged others to cancel as well while still owing them money. We're on however many tomorrows at this point if he's going to meet me with my money. Money they say is still missing months later. A million, a million excuses. excuses to this day. Yes. Parents have reached out to the San Diego Youth Football and Cheer League leadership as well as the San Diego Bolts Board of Directors with no real solution. You guys allowed to coach our, our kids um, stole money from us at the end of the day is like embezzling money through a youth sport like that's how I see it because I haven't gotten any confirmation receipt and I haven't gotten paid back. The board tells Fox 5 in a statement the assistant coach was suspended as a result of this situation and the SDYFC sent its own statement directing us back to the Bolts coach for further comment. There wasn't an investigation mm -hmm. into what he did that actually involved all 15 parents and their individual stories. Affected families have been offered to work the weekend snack bar to recover some of the money lost. Weird that I have to work for money that was already mine. Johnson and Age now sharing a lesson they didn't expect to tackle. You can't be as trusting, unfortunately, as we were, um, and to ask more questions. And I'm hoping that the league will use this as a learning experience to create better policies. So they say that there's a certain way that travel is supposed to happen. Where is that written? Where is that information given to parents? I do want to mention we also reached out directly to the assistant coach being mentioned in this story. He did tell me that he wanted to see this story air before providing any comment to us, ultimately saying no comment this evening. Now, we do know that the statements provided by the SD Bolts board and the SD YFC are quite lengthy, so we are going to post them in full with this article up on our website, fox5sandiego.com. Reporting live in La Mesa, Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. All right, thank you for sorting it out for us, Kasha.